Let's protect ourselves with some custom ruby armor. Let's see how to add that. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and in this tutorial we're going to add custom armor to the game. Custom armor, similar to the custom tools, has one pitfall that people might fall down, but like always, I'm sure we will manage. In our mod items class, we're first of all going to add our, well, four armor pieces. So let's just copy over the hoe and a similar, like before, we'll name those the helmet and then of course rename this here as well helmet and this is an armor item and this actually has three parameters as you can see so we have a armor material we have an equipment slot and the item settings so the second parameter here is the equipment slot head for the helmet and then the first one we're going to get an arrow of course because we don't want to add in a tool material but a, an armor material which we're going to create in just a moment so let's just copy this four times and then change this about so chest plate right here and then room ruby chest plate here as well and this is going to be a ruby leggings and this of course as well ruby leggings with an s by the way on both of those that's the best here and then boots as well and then boots here as well and now let's create the actual armor material now this is pretty much exactly the same way that we've created the mod tool material we're going to create the armor material so in the item package new java class mod armor material and this will implement the armor material interface right here and this will also be changed to an enum and now we can middle mouse button click on here as well once again con press ctrl h and then add and then open the armor materials class right here and basically just take everything from here and copy it over as well and then the only thing we need to change is add the mod here in front of the constructor name and then actually oh this is armor materials armor material there you go and then everything is implemented here fine let's just go through a few things so what is interesting is that you have an integer array as the protection amounts the idea here is that each different armor piece of course has different amounts of protection and that's basically the idea here so the protection amount is based on the slot of course that should make sense if you have a chest plate that adds more protection to your character or your player than for example using the boots and then something similar with the actual durability we have this private final integer array here base durability so each of the different types of items have a different durability and the area is always going from bottom to top so if you see this array this here are the boots and this is the helmet and same of course with these so this is the boots then the leggings then the chest plate and then the helmet right how about we make the gold here to our ruby and we change this to ruby as well the durability modifier maybe that's actually going to be quite a bit more so let's say something like maybe 27 and then the actual protection is going to be kind of good as well. Three, let's call this five and let's call this one maybe a nine even. And then this one a three. That is, of course, completely up to you. Here we have to pass in a sound event. That really depends. Let's just keep it at gold. That's totally fine. And then we have a two floats. One of them is the toughness and one of them is the knockback resistance. Let's just keep them as they are. And then let's change this to a mod items dot ruby here. And now our Ruby is done. So we can basically delete everything that came before and then everything that came after. If you want to add multiple ones, make sure that when you add the second one here that they are separated by a comma right here, right? So if you have multiple ones, they are separated by a comma and the last one has the semicolon. So this is just a normal enum, how you would make any other enum that is basically that. And apart from that, all of the rest can actually stay how it is and you can just use that as is. Now let's go back to the mod items class and actually use that here. So mod armor material dot ruby and then let's just take this copy it over and there you go. Now the armor has the armor material added as well. Let's actually add the item models as well. So that is the boots, the chest plate, the helmet and not forget the leggings. Those models, those item models are actually like absolutely generic, basically exactly the same thing. So simply have the ruby boots which point to a particular texture and the textures are going to be copied over as well of course so this is going to be all four of those in the item textures folder right here but now the question is what about the actual armor piece like how does the armor look in 3d how, how are we going to achieve that well for that we actually have to create a new folder in our assets folder and that is going to be called minecraft 
And in there, we have to create a new directory called textures. And then in there, we have to go new directory models. Very important that this is models with an S at the end. Directory armor. And very important that this is written in the American version. That's just how it's going to be. And in there, we're going to copy in two files that are, of course, provided in the GitHub repository. This is the Ruby underscore layer one. I'm just going to open it. And this is how it looks. So this is basically the 3D model that is going to be, well, sort of overlaid over the player when we have the actual armor on. And the name here is very important. So inside of the mod armor material, this name right here, this string has to be the first part of this actual name, this file name, and then underscore layer underscore one. Exactly written like this, not with any space in there, not with any, you know, any additional things exactly like this. Ruby, so this name here, underscore layer, underscore one. You can also go down to the external libraries under net Minecraft, Minecraft 1171, and then a whole bunch of stuff. Down here, you can see the texture solder in the assets. There are all of the vanilla models as well. So for example, the iron layer here, you can basically take this control C and then control V that in your own folders. And then you can basically modify that if you need it. And then the spacing of the file is basically also already in there. So that is one of the things that you need to keep in mind that this actually has to go into the Minecraft assets folder. That is very important. Right, and let's not forget to add the translation to the en underscore us json file. Well, one little thing that I had glossed over, we of course have to change the equipment slot here before we start. So let's actually change that. So chest here, and then this is going to be the legs right here, and then feet right here very easily, and then all things should actually work. So now let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft, and as you can see, I have the armor in my inventory, and now let's actually Put it on and let's see if it works and there you go it works totally fine so it actually looks great in 3d so if i can take a look at that and i can also take a look right here so as you can see all four pieces of armor have been successfully added to the game and i would say that's pretty good right and that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would of course appreciate it like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this so yeah